All right, so this is a part two of our mapping of our rabbit. So previously we have already unwrapped it, and this is a UV snapshot that I've brought into Photoshop. Okay, so first of all, before I get into um, setting up the layers and how I go about with my workflow, um, you might want to go to the internet and source for these images. Okay, you can Google them easily, and so that we can easily use uh, this to create our textures okay so in my photoshop um i have the uv of my rabbit and i'm gonna look at this background and since there's a lock i need to turn it into a regular layer okay you can do that easily by double clicking on the layer itself okay and just set to okay I'm going to get layer 0. So, um, just to start off, because I this is a workflow that I usually do, of course, um, there's similar workflows that you can create immediately from my itself by using the create PSD network and whatnot. Um, so, in this case, we are just using the basics of uh, UV snapshot, bring this into Photoshop, and I'm going to go into channels. Um, if you hold down your control key and clicking on this, the alpha channel itself, you're going to get the selection of your white color lines. Okay, So that is what I really want. Okay, And there are two ways to go about it. You can either make the selection, inverse and delete away the blacks. Okay, or you can simply also use um, the layer mask. Okay, so that's gonna take that away as well. And the next thing that I want to do is to so create another color, just go to black and bring it down. Okay, so you're gonna get the same stuff, right? So, what I prefer to do this is that. Um, I can set up um, different folders in between um, or below my wireframe, um, like creating colored maps, specular maps, and whatnot. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this the black one, the background. Okay, so in between, I'm gonna create a folder. I'm gonna call this the color map. Right. So um, the next thing, of course, I'm um, gonna start with say we'll create a new more a new folder and call this body. Bring it into color map. Okay. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to create the body of um, this map. All right. So what's going to happen is I am going to bring in one of this image. So perhaps this site profile of the rabbit would do very nicely. So I'm just going to copy um, by selecting Control A and then Control C, coming back here, and just going to paste it. I'm going to bring this out. Because this is the original, and most of the time I do not want to mess around with the this original image because I can reuse it um, many times. Okay. So uh, since I'm going to use the majority of this image right here, okay, I'm going to create a new copy. And I'm going to bring it to the body. Okay. So looking at my UV space, right? The head is here, so likelihood I will need to do a transform in my edit and flip horizontal. Okay. So just to quickly see what um, this will happen, I will just. Uh, 
try to fit this as close as possible. Okay. And of course, if you want to be more precise about it, you might want to um, clear up or rescale your image correctly. So I'm just going to match this accordingly. Okay, like I said, I'm not trying to make this uh, 100%. but uh, definitely as close as possible that I can get. Okay, so once that is done, right, what I can do is set up another um, layer mask, and this time around, I'm just going to paint it out. And I'm going to paint black, so that just to pick up um, this stuff. Okay, and Another thing that you can do, in fact, if you um, do not want to use um, painting, okay, what you can do is, uh, I'm just going to pick this out first, I'm going to use my lasso tool, okay, and just going to outline my body. Okay? Now, um, this way of doing really is also to make sure that our textures are not going to overlap to somewhere else. Okay. Okay, so say we have this outline. Now I'm going to just use my add layer mask. So you'll look something like that. Okay. So once I have masked it, uh next thing that I want to do is um if you want to just take a quick look, definitely. I'm just gonna toggle this off. And one thing do be very careful because your alpha is still around. So um this point of time, you might want to delete that away. Okay. Sometimes this may create additional trouble at a later point of time if you have forgotten about it. So I'm just going to save this and toggle and I'm going to call it um, Rabbit 29 April or I'm just going to call it Texture Rabbit 29 April. Right. And I'm going to say that's 24 bits without any alpha or any other things. So if you have left your alpha there, you should also save it as 24 bits unless you have um, specific transparency that you would want to show. So I'm going to go back to Maya itself. Okay, so looking at this, I have my editor. I'm going to close it. Okay. So um, I'm going to assign a new material. You can right mouse button and go to assign new material. Or you can always go to window, um, hypershade, version editor, hypershade. Okay. So I'm going to create a new Lambert. Okay. So I'm going to middle mouse button this and drag and drop into this guy. Okay. So I can tell that that's, it's being affected by it. Um, so beside color, the check a box, click on it, and I'm going to click on file. Okay, so image name, and I am going to look for that file. So two, I'm gonna look at my new demo. So I'm gonna see texture rabbit. Click open. Okay. So remember to hit uh toggle the texture viewport by number six. So this is going to look um, like once you have applied the texture. And as you can tell, both sides have been applied. 
And like I have mentioned before, if you go to your UV texture editor, okay, um, this is simply because both sides of the UVs are the same. Okay, so you can pretty tell what's going on. All right, so um, with this in place, we can go back to our Photoshop and work on it. So, um, so for example, uh, if you are not, um, if you are just beginning to use Photoshop and or beginning to, beginning to learn about texture, um, some things that uh, that you might need to know is um, that sometimes like we have this white areas here, you can always use whatever that we have here and bring it across. Okay. Of course, you can use a clone stamp tool to in Photoshop do that, but um, my other way, um, which I prefer to use it, really again, it's up to you. Um, but I would have duplicated or copied this layer. Okay, bring it across. Again, it's, it's just just my personal way of working. Um, and I'll select the layer mask, okay, and I'll paint it off. All right. So so perhaps this is where I want it to be, and so I, I do not really need it, and I definitely do not need this area. So as I'm using a soft brush, okay, I'm using a soft br brush to paint this. Okay. And the next thing is this area here, because I can tell that for this, um, the image of the rabbit itself. So Really, this is to indicate the hind legs. So, uh, in this case, we would want to make sure that um, the values of our skin looks similar in nature. Okay. So, what we can do is again, um, I'm going to create one more. Okay, and this time I'm going to move it over here. Okay. Or if not, uh, another way that you can do is to make a selection. So you can use a marquee select tool and um, or maybe I'll just use a lasso tool. Okay. So I'm going to select the image. Make sure that you select the image and not the mask. So select the this little square, Control C to copy it, and then just simply hit Control V, and it will create on new layer. Okay, and then I'm gonna move it and cover this area here. And of course, if I would take away my um, wireframe, I I can tell somehow that there's a piece here, right? So Control click on your layer two within this small little square. Just to make sure that it captures the selection, and then add a layer mask. Okay, and I'm just gonna use a smaller brush and just bring it across, just so that it blends in um, to the image. Okay, so now that I've gotten rid of that um, look itself, and just to again. One thing nice to do is to really quickly take a look um, and save it over. Okay, and then you can always go back to my itself, click on the objects. Um, in this case, the rabbit. And of course, if you move across, there's really quite a number of history going on, so you can always delete history. 
Okay, so that's uh, when you go to your attribute editor, you can grab your Lambert pretty easily. So I'm just going to go to color and go to my image, reload my image. So once I reload my image, I should see that here has been pretty much filled up. Okay. So the, the back side looks kind of fine. So I need to deal with the front part, okay, where the eye is. So coming back to my Photoshop, um, turn on my wireframe again. I know that the eye here is going to be an issue. Okay. So in fact, what I am going to do, okay, I'm going to select the image again, and I am going to make a copy of the eye. Okay, and move my marquee somewhere here. All right. Copy and paste. Okay. So after pasting it, um, I'm going to move it down here. And of course, looking at the surrounding, um, the eye itself might be a little too big. So I'm just going to scale it down a little. Okay, maybe this that size. Ah, maybe just a little bit more. Okay. So once you have that, um, actually, before I do that, I should make a new copy. Create a new copy. Because uh, I will need to kind of filter it, part of it off later on. Um, I'll show you how. So again, um, scale this little guy down. Okay, so that is the okay. And for this eye area, what I'm going to do is to create another um, layer. Um, reduce the radius of your brush and just kind of slightly paint over. And of course, if you can't tell where you're painting, you can always hide the um, body layer. So just make sure that the ends are kind of soft so that it blends in with the rest. Okay. So what's gonna happen here because we have this really ugly looking thing here. Okay. So this is this is where um this is gonna help us. Okay. So again uh for this layer create another um uh, mask. Okay, so this time round Uh, like that, and let me this down. So what I'm gonna do, in fact, is to paint this out. Okay. So um, in a way, I'm painting what's in the center. Okay. So select the mask. Okay. And I'm gonna paint this out. So when I turn on back, I'm going to see um, where some of the stuff that it needs. Okay. So um, with this small little one, I can scale it down a little bit. Okay. And then if I turn on turn back this image, it's going to look fine. right? But um, of course, I need to soften the edges here first. Okay. Now, of course, this is going to look like there's some um, 
things going on here, right? Um, too many repeats here. We can always fix that. So we can go into our main main image. We can always try to grab um, things around here. And of course, for this little guy here, I'm just gonna move it, say, down here or something. Okay. And then try to fix it slowly um, again. And yeah. just create a mask and then just paint it over. Just to make sure that it blends well. Okay, and you can do it layer by layer slowly, um, just to see how it works. And also because um, in the image itself, it might not looks, um, it might not look like it's correct. You can always um, go back into Maya to take a look. Okay, so um, definitely that looks so much better now. Okay, so um, this area. I can still fix that. Of course, if you want to, you can always um, just grab the little brown areas. Okay, and try to fix them slowly. And sometimes you can even still it up a little bit, which is totally fine. But again, um, take note that do not scale it to um, take that it becomes um, it becomes way too obvious or something. Okay, so um, so of course you can also use the textures here to bring it over, um, but for now we want to look at some other stuff. So what about here, the bottom here, right? We want to get um, some of our images across. So let's see. Uh, Okay, so I'm just going to open all this up at the same time. Okay, so the next thing that I want to use is this, um, the pelt. So I'm going to use again my vessel tool. And of course, sometimes it's um, it may not be so obvious since mostly it's white, but um, we can always fix that later. Okay, so 
for the bottom what you can do is um, just make a few copies and simply bring them down and um, what you want to do really is to make sure that uh, the direction okay, direction of your textures flows correctly okay, so this is where I want it to be Create one more. Okay, so let's say something like this. So, um, Again, like I've mentioned, just use your adjustment mask. It helps, um, really helps a lot to to create your layers. Okay. So the next one. And the next one, oops, So say once it's done, you can um, select all four and hit Control E to merge them as a single piece. And again, like what I want to do is to make sure that it does not um, move over to the other UVs. So select that. Um, control click on this layer, okay, where the rabbit is, and then um, select your white valley. And just do something like that. Okay. So um, the next thing that you may want to do is uh, you may only want to select that, right? Second here. I'm just going to make it apply. Okay, good. <coughs> okay, so um, after you hit apply, you're going to get your um, valley. Okay, the furry valley. And what I want to do really is to create a new adjustment layer just for this value. Okay. And go ahead and go to levels. And you can create a much higher contrast if you want to. Okay. Just to show um, some kind of a texture feel. Um, but of course we do not want to go overboard. So right now, if I were to save this, and do remember to save your PSD. So now, okay. 
so we roughly have um, already have something here right so the next thing is you can go back to Photoshop and now I can quickly work on some of the rest of the stuff like um, oh wait let's clear them out so uh, coming to my next image here okay so perhaps I want to use the face here um, No. Um, or even this one if you want to okay, this one shows a little more in this okay. so I'm just going to use this one instead okay so I copy only um, the nose and the mouth area of uh, this image and come back to our um, UV snapshot here. Okay. And I'm going to make a copy. All right. Now I know that it's going to be somewhere around here, right? Okay. So um, just make the necessary scaling adjustments. And again, like I said, it's, it does not need to be perfect. Okay. Control click on this um, to create. Um, a layer mask again and I'm going to paint this out um, make sure that it's black Oops. make sure that the mouth is selected okay so Say once you have this, save it, um, texture, save, and we want to see whether it it fits. So perhaps the color is a little off, we can always fix the color. Okay, but um, this is giving you a general idea of how really to, to work on your image, right? Using image and then just create the necessary textures for this. Okay. So um, of course for this image, you can again create another adjustment layer and then um, Let's see, we can use our hues saturation. Okay, and just kind of make sure that it fits the color. Or fix um fit the tone of your main body. Okay, so um, so this looks much better. Okay, so once we have this, really, we just need to deal with the ears and the legs. Okay, so next thing I will look at is the ear. Okay, so. Um, let's toggle my wireframe. Okay. And I'm going to create a new 
photo. I'm going to call this year. And put it down. Okay, so for the year. Again, we have this image here, right? So what we are going to use is the image and then to recreate the year. So I can easily um, just crop the years. Make sure that you have copied the years and then um, that image, go back to my folder and create that year. Okay, so um, you gotta make sure that uh, you know which side of the year is facing out. So if you're unsure, um, please check in your UV texture editor to find out where it is. Okay, so I'm just going to scale this and um, of course if I want to, I can always scale it according to the shape of it if I want to. So over here, I can always fix that later on. So like I've mentioned, we can always take a look at um, where the years are heading. Okay, so this side is definitely correct. So go back to my Photoshop, um, check where the lines are heading, and just make sure that they get it right. And if not, um, what you can do in fact is to, if you can always try to find a fit um, for the years. Okay, so perhaps this would be a much um, better angle or something. And of course, if, if that works for you, that um, that is great. If not, uh, you just continue to slowly find out um, which is the best fit. Okay, so let's say something like that. Okay, again. Um, like I've mentioned before, what is really best to do is to create an outline. Okay, so I'm just going to use my layer mask. All right. And of course, uh, since this is going to be, uh, I prefer to create a solid color first so that I can use it later on to do my masking. So now I can always, like uh, I mentioned again, lightly paint it off. Okay, so kind of let me clean it up. And get something like this. And this one. Okay, 
Okay, so once we have um, the year area, right? So it's the rest that we want to fix. So again, I'm gonna get this um, rabbit image and maybe find the best um, color if you want to, or the closest to this one. Um, or you can always readjust the values using your adjustment layers for your hue saturation and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is to set this up. Um, just try to make sure that uh, the, the direction of the, the fur is correct. And Copy this and put there. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. Okay, so we turn this around, and like I said, the direction of the fur should follow. Okay, um, in this case, I can always scale it a little bit. I will start creating um, multiple layers of this. Bring them down to something like this. Okay. Now, uh, not to forget that um, you will still need to create the necessary adjustments for it. Okay. So I'm just gonna create the layers. And So the next one, okay, because this side is really facing there. Maybe not. Okay, so um, pretty much something like this. And if I want to, I can always uh, this over. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm trying. I'm going to try to fit um, all this just to cover up first. Okay. And like I said, just rotate a little bit and just to put them in such a way. And you're definitely going to see a big thing there, but again, um, we will fix that later on. So, um, once that is done, 
I'm going to select all of this and hit Control E to match them. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do, um, make sure that I put the necessary outline here. All right. Um, <clears throat> So I'm just going to create another one, and this time I'm going to move it over across, okay, and this should um, pretty much be below. Always remember we can create a few um, layers of this. Okay, so if I were to save this, I'm gonna see quite a um, same here, right? But again, um, since if it is so far away, um, sometimes it's difficult to tell. But um, again, if you want to fix this, there are some ways to it. Um, one of the way is um, if you look at um, the original image, we have some connecting parts here, right? So we can copy those connecting parts. Um, so let's say, for example, from here. And try to fit that in. And perhaps we need to scale it down a little bit. Okay, and of course, um, we need to start painting it. In on our mask. Okay. So this will help to make that connection below. And of course because um, again the year might be too repetitive. Um, so you might need to um, change that as well to break the repetition. Okay, so the next thing would be the legs, right? So the legs would be the same way of um, dealing, okay? So um, I'm just going to create one more folder, I'm just going to call it fun legs. And I'm just gonna use the one for my user layer for the year. And I'm gonna use it for the legs. So, make this out. And 
And again, like I said, because um, the way it is unwrapped is telling you that the direction. Okay, so you try to follow the direction um, if you can. Okay, and it will be better for you to do that anyway. Um, so let's say one direction would be here, and maybe I'm, I'm just going to cover it for two of this. Okay, and I'm going to create one more. Bring it across. And follow. Follow. Okay. So for this trip, I'm following the top and I'll need more to follow the bottom. So what I'm going to do is create adjustment layer this out and I repeat all of these out. Likewise for the second one. So um So something like that, and um, I'm going to move this, create a new layer, and maybe move it down here. So I'm just going to match all of this in a single one. And again, um, create an outline for this particular shell. And of course, you can start to see the results coming together. Okay. And of course, we can work on the, this one immediately um, for the back if you want to sorry to find legs if you want to so for this one um, it's pretty much the same so let's say I'm going to put this in the front and put it that way
So I don't um, do take note that um, this is not the full thing that we want to use. So I'm just going to select these two, combine it, and hide this. Um, just to quickly show you on the leg so that you can try the last one on your own. Um, just really, if you recall, we have a nail here. Now, if you cannot find a rabbit's nail um, in a higher resolution, you can always find a dog or a cat. Um, their nails are almost similar in nature. So, um, you can easily take some of this information and put it all on the UV itself, okay, because um, this area is already telling you that these are where the news going to be, or in another way, if you want to paint it, um, it's fine as well. So let's say um, then, uh, I'm not using a way comp, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. So I'm just going to do um, just a quick one. So okay. and of course if you want to you can also use a double and force um But it's not really um, necessary. And what I'm going to do is create some and do this below. And this a little bit darker. Okay, and maybe give it a new folder and some colored um, nails or paw area, whichever you want. And Okay, so um, just to take a quick look at how it looks like. Okay, so perhaps I need to make um, some really clear definition of it. Um, so I can actually use the dog's meal instead. Okay. For this dog's meal, what you can do is um, you bring it into two and horizontal. So um, 
one part uh, one side of it and so for example again this is uh, way too big so we can always bring it down a little bit Like I said, because um, this is for uh, this area is quite small, so we do not need to make it so obvious. Okay, so because uh, if you know where the front is and the back is, you really you only need to do uh, you need to clear off part of the sides here. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you real quick later on. Okay, so um, once I have the nails. Okay, you can always um, save the image and take a quick look. It will definitely look much better. You know. And now that you kind of know how to work on the legs, I'll leave the legs to you. Um, but one thing I definitely want to show you is um, as for the eye itself, you can almost use the reflection of this and put it there. So let's say, for example, um, okay, so I have this image. So I'm just going to copy the eyeball. And because I need to create one more. Right here. Okay, 
Okay, so for this eyeball again, um, just make sure to um, take away that because really we just want the reflection. Um, as you can make this a little bigger, it's fine. And we can lower the opacity and because we already have a circle here. Um, we can create one more. And maybe some of these are red color. So what I want to do is um, bring this down to somewhere there. And create one more. And this time, a smaller one. Okay, so you can um, control click on this layer and control alt click on the next one. So, just so that we are selecting only this area here. Okay, and I'm going to give it red, brown, um, or whatever color that you want to give it. Um, it should be fine. And you can hide away the two reds uh, if you want to. And uh, this red one, um, perhaps not. I'm just going to use it as a template. And Create one more, and this one will be white. Okay. But for this one, this will in fact be the highlights. So let's say something like this. We are just going to take a look. At how it affects our model. So you get to see a little highlights and on the um, here. But of course, um, we might need to make certain areas smaller. All right. So what if I just do pause? Okay. So um, I'll leave the links to you so that you can try on your own. Um, but just to show you, just to give you an idea of. Um, what your finished texture should look like. Um, so this is probably how you want it to look like. Okay. And of course, uh, the company texture for that and it looks like this. Okay. And this is just based on trying to get um, things going and really um, the areas here I could have painted more just, just to make it look cleaner. But other than that um, this is probably how it's going to look like for yours as well or similar. Alright, um, good luck with texturing and thank you for watching.